Okay, guys, I took a little break. My hubby made me some uh, broncoline and lemon tea. Broncoline's really good for when you're sick. So he made that for me, and I'm finishing that up. And our sink is almost dry. And we're going to make a little something to go in the larder. So we're going to... I was just going to try and glue this down but I wanted a straight edge it does not have to be a hundred percent but I'd like for it to be um, and then I could have put these on here and then just trimmed them to fit which I might do I just might do that guys that's a pretty great idea all right so and then this way we can just flip it over and um, again I should do it on this side because um, it's a little on the shiny side and once we get the cardboards I'm gonna go right up against this edge once the cardboard has dried to the base and we put the, the sides on it won't matter because I'm going to just go up here and trim that trim that edge off and then this other edge so this is what we're going to do we're just going to glue these down I probably should have used that Fabra fix because that stuff guys is pretty good all right so we got this and then we got that and again we're going to have some drying time but that is okay because while this is drying while that's drying we can move over to the sink and add our other side. I would have sworn I had another clamp up here. I really like this stuff to fit tight. Clamp down really good. There we go. So again, once that dries, should be it once that dries then we can go in and put our I do that like I said so it's um it's like an extra set of hands that should be okay yeah we're gonna let that dry Coming back to this. And sometimes these stick. In this case it did slightly, but not bad. Okay, so remember we have to be even with this. So we're going to come in. I wish that was an exact straight edge. I need an exact straight edge, guys, so maybe this isn't exact, but it'll it'll suffice. And you'll see why. Let's get the nicest nicest side out. Okay. Again, we're gonna glue this side in and let it dry and I want to make sure these are like super close they don't have to be microscopically exact but they do need to be close whoops don't move don't move
We're coming back down to this edge. Sorry about my hair. And we're going to clamp this side. All right, and we're going to wait for. Oops, I went the wrong way. We're going to wait for this edge to dry right here. Okay. That looks pretty good. And then once that's dry, we're going to cut the other piece to go on the front, just like that. And then we'll build the sink on the inside. Did I mess that up, guys? That's the back. These are the legs. No, I don't think so. It's going to be okay. We're going to have to bring this front piece down a little further because this comes up in the back. I'll show you when we get there. Okay, so we're going to let that dry. Lots of drying time. Okay, so now we're back to this guy. So we're going to cut these edges. And with this balsa wood, balsa, balsa, you can actually trim it with the scissors. And there's our base. And again, this will be painted. We're not going to see that. We're only going to see, and actually we won't see it at all because it's going to be sitting on the floor like so. So now what we have to do, we had two other pieces. So we're going to need one, let's see, we're going to need one, two, three, four, we're going to need four of those, four of the long and four of the short. And then we're going to need like a matchstick. I don't really have a matchstick, but I do have, hold that thought, guys. I think I have something that'll work. Be right back. Okay, I don't exactly have a matchstick, but I have this balsa wood that I got from Hobby Lobby that'll work as good as the boss would. All right, so I'm just going to cut a small piece because we don't need a bunch of it. Oh my goodness, do I have a mess to clean up tomorrow. So I'm going to cut four of these the same width or same height as the slats. And I don't want these perfect. You know what I mean? This is an old crate. God knows how long it's been alive and around the farm. But and this is how I'm gonna do the redo the fire pit too. Or the not the fire pit, the the thing that holds the wood burning wood for the wood burning stove. Okay, so now these are going to get glued to the corners. These are going to get glued to the corners. Each corner. And hopefully you won't have too much trouble. I'm just going to lightly tack it because I don't want a forever drying time again, guys. So anyhow, I put this there. And that might be too tall. But what I do know, even if it's too tall, we can come in and trim it up. That's not a problem. So I was thinking, I don't know why, but I was thinking of this 
hilarious story and if my brothers are watching they can tell you that as children well let's just say my life was less than boring and some of the stuff we used to get into particularly my oldest brother Dale he could probably tell you um, the two younger brothers weren't a around for a lot of the shenanigans so we we were living in this house that had an old barn and above the barn itself was like a, a carport and in this carport there was an old horse-drawn sleigh and the remnants of somebody's canning like like it was where they stored their food right and there was a, a case maybe it was this crate I don't know but there was a crate of old canned green beans there and when I say old guys I mean these lids were rusted on them completely and totally rusted on so he and I get this bright idea that we're gonna we're gonna play you know p pretend so we're taking turns driving the sled pretending it's our vehicle you know it's our car and we're driving along and and I spy the green beans and I was like we should we should have martinis and he's like we don't have martinis what are we gonna you know what are we gonna make for martinis and I said let's use those green beans so in all honesty guys these um, they're rusted the lids were rusted shut and he says let's bust them off and I'm like oh, okay let's bust them off all right, so we're gonna use whoops sorry about how close that is we're gonna use this as a marker so we I don't remember now was a tire iron or I don't know some part of that horse drawn sleigh not like a tire iron but like a like a big wrench so we we bust that puppy loose and we're pulling the martinis out of the glass you know the green beans but for us they were martinis so we're having some martinis okay so this I don't know if I'm safe enough to glue those on yet or not I think we need some more drying time but at any rate we had that day homemade glass ridden martinis and outside of that barn down on the lower part was a um, walnut tree huge walnut tree and I was telling my husband how we love those walnuts we were always eating those walnuts <clears throat> All right, guys, I think I'm going to use the Fabrifix fix on this because I need something that's going to stick quick. So we're, we're eating those walnuts, and we realize that they stained your hands. So that started a whole new thing where we got slingshots, and we would take the walnut hulls, and load them up on those slingshots and I think we started our own paintball club so you would see us the neighbor kids anybody who wanted to get involved all painted up with those walnut halls and my parents were less than happy let me say okay guys so I think that might work <laughs> yeah well those were the days right I mean can you imagine the things that at our age okay I'm over 50 at our age the things we did as kids nobody ever thought twice about but now CYFD children's you know children children youth and families are are gonna come in or you know CPS or whatever it is you have in your your state but yeah we would we would be in trouble Oh gosh, those were the days. 
Well, shoot. Okay, so this one's stuck. Not so bad. I probably should have, you know what I should have done was put them on here first. You guys, I don't know about me. I should have put them on here first. All the way to the edge. And then here, all the way to the edge. A little bit further sticking down because I don't, they don't necessarily have to be straight. But anyhow, if you have fond memories like that, let me know in the comments because like I said, my brother and I seem like we, we were always in trouble. We were always pulling something like that. Nothing like criminal, but just ornery as my dad said. Okay, so I had another one of those over here. And now I lost my gauge. Interesting, I lost my gauge. And I bet you guys see it or from the video could see where I put it. Isn't that funny? Did I lose it? Well, there it is. I covered it up. And then, trick-or-treating was always fun when we were kids. You know, we got to dress up. You know, most of the brothers dressed up like women. And, you know, I honestly don't remember what I dressed up as. How funny. I don't recall. I know. We always dressed my brother up as a woman. And we loved it because if he was dressed like a woman, he got more candy. So we always made him dress like a woman to get that candy. Okay, so I want to come down a little bit. I don't want that. Oops, sorry, guys. Out of focus again. I don't want that too tall. So I think that'll work right there. Yep. And... We didn't have to check our candy. We didn't have to do any of that stuff. We just trick-or-treated, you know. And we took out pillowcases and always came back with those pillowcases. Almost too heavy to carry. So those were the days, you know. Okay, so there we go. Oh, and another, this is a funny, funny, funny story. Um... We grew up in the church and very, very close to God. And my brother didn't want to, he, he argued with me over the lyrics to a, a church song. And he, he can remember this as well. So we're singing in church and it was the song, Daddy Said Grace. Um, or, but no, excuse me, I got it wrong. It was Daddy saying Base and my brother thought he was saying daddy said grace and he would always say no no he would argue that it was daddy said grace mama served dinner and I was like no that's not it that's not it that is not it so years before he would admit that he had the words wrong okay guys we are almost 20 minutes into this so I'm going to repeat this process long ways and then I'm going to repeat it short side. So when we come back in the next video, we'll have um, these guys finished. And then we'll be ready to do the, the other side. So today's secret word is, I'm looking around. I'm looking around because it's going to be crazy. Photo corners. Okay. Photo corners corners. Word number four. Photo corners. And I'm writing this down, y'all. So number one was wooden crate. Number two was bread bin. Number three was repeater. Number four is photo corners. Okay, so these are going to be your keywords. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.